In the 16th century, there were dozens of werewolf trials. But the French city of Bordeaux, once the site of such a trial in 1603, was also the setting for a much more recent case. In 1989, a terrible sequence of events brought the werewolf myth out of the history books and onto these streets. A 28-year-old man invited a stranger into his home to share a meal with him. Suddenly, the young man launched a vicious and unprovoked attack on his guest, beating him to death with his bare hands. The killer was quickly caught and jailed. It seemed like an ordinary act of random violence. It was only when he was seen by prison psychiatrist Michel Benezek that the full chilling story emerged. I got to know this man when he first arrived in prison, and when I began to interview him, it became clear that he was not like a normal prisoner. When I interviewed him, I was surprised because it was the first time I had in front of me someone who described the symptoms of transformation into a werewolf. He said to me, I feel that my teeth are growing longer and I have the feeling that my skin is not my own, but that of a wolf or a werewolf. I become bad and I want to bite. I want to drink blood, I want to eat flesh. When he told me about his violent crimes, when he described them in detail, he never expressed the least bit of remorse. On the contrary, he was positively jubilant. After observing him for a few months and running many different tests, I diagnosed him with lycanthropy. Lycanthropy is a medical term used to describe patients that psychiatrists and doctors see. And the patients appear to be suffering from a psychotic delusion where they believe that they have become transformed into wolves. And this is a genuine belief. These patients are not pretending to become werewolves.